happy people, Tracy Reed here today coming at you with a 6x8 layout in my vacation album from last year. Uh, this is going to be a single page layout in which I include three different journaling cards on one 6x8 plus the front and back of this specific journaling card. So I went ahead and cut out the center of this frame so that I could use it as a frame rather than like a journaling block. And then I made sure to cut it out very carefully so that I could also use that um, rainbow on the other side of the journaling card. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim up these journaling cards to fit the way that I want them to on this page. So obviously you can fit three by four journaling cards on a six by eight page. Uh, technically you could fit four, exactly. <laughs> but um, I also wanna have room for my photos and for you know journaling and a title and all of that. So I'm actually trimming these up and making them work for me. One thing that I preach about often is making sure that you are using your products in a way that work for you rather than thinking that you have to keep them exactly the same or um, you know, you can't customize them to your own needs. So I've already cut, I've actually cut four journaling cards here, um, but I don't end up using the one where I cut the banner out. Um, but I've already cut up four and I'm going to end up using three plus the backside of that life captured card, which is the rainbow. So I guess technically four ish, but really only three. I'm gonna use this tag card rather than journaling. I'm going to use it for my title spot and I'm going to use off the deep end because um, even though it was April in California, it was definitely not quite warm enough to swim yet, but you wouldn't have been able to tell that to my 11 year old at the time. Um, so he went straight into the pool onto this adorable, unicorn raft and um, I like the juxtaposition of off the deep end with that sentiment. So that layout's gonna be about how it was too cold to be swimming. So I use a bunch of rub-ons. I used the um, watercolor in the background and then the little waves and I think that that works out really well. So now I need to find a background for this page. I'm gonna use this pink so that it's not too distracting and it is actually just slightly over six by eight, which is when you put a six by eight in a page protector, it needs to be slightly larger than six by eight. So this is perfect. I didn't have to trim the paper down at all. And I'm gonna start the composition for this layout. I still don't really know how I'm gonna make all of these pieces work together on just one canvas. I haven't worked on a single six by eight in a very long time. So I'm going to use these pattern papers that these are just scraps that I have from a previous layout. I'm gonna use them as sort of a base layer for where I'm going to create my composition. It's gonna be a nice vertical line straight down the six by eight. And then it's going to give me somewhere where I can anchor this whole composition so that it doesn't look like it's floating in space on this page. So now I have, I need to work the frame and the other photo and the tag all into one nice cluster for this page so that they kind of make sense together. I think that they're a little bit disjointed at first. It takes me a minute to get it the way that I want it to be. I thought about matting it on that yellow paper, but I thought that it would be too many patterns, too much going on on this one little tiny canvas. So you can see I'm just kind of struggling with where I want everything to go. And I'm gonna end up putting these two together and then sort of nestling this one in here. And I think that that helps me to visualize how they're all going to fit together. I really didn't want that title at the top of that frame. So that's what kind of my goal here is to just cover that up so that it doesn't read as title. I don't wanna put a title up there and I feel like having a blank space that says title with no title on it would be kind of annoying. So <laughs> I'm trying to cover that up. And then when I decide that I just need to fully cover it up, it sort of changes the orientation of where everything is getting put down. It makes everything make a little bit more sense. And I'm just going to nestle that in there. Okay, good. Now I've got my base composition for this layout and I can start building my clusters around it. I really wanna make sure that I include this rainbow because in my opinion, unicorns and rainbows go together. So I really wanted to include it. There's no unicorns in this collection, but there is a flamingo floaty that I'm going to include as well. Just to add a couple more pops of color, I'm gonna add in 
these labels or no these um, tabs from this label sheet that way I felt like there was too much blue happening with all of the different blue and the reason that I used that journaling card to mat that top photo was because when you look at it it looks like pool water to me um, the pattern on it isn't pool water ish but from a distance it looks very pool pool watery to me and then I did, of course I didn't have a a choice on what color that frame was and then the top of that tag is also blue so I just had so much blue going on that I wanted to add in a little bit more color to make it just a little less a uh, little less blue so I'm gonna do that with these yellow labels as well and then that will be where I put my journaling too so I'm gonna go through all the die cuts and see if there's anything I want to include I have this flamingo floaty that is very cute and it's gonna go right at the top very cute. That brings in some more pink as well. You can see I stuck the blue water underneath the flamingo float or underneath the card so that there wouldn't be more blue. Some word strips from the memory keeping sticker kit and then some puffy stickers. Thought some flip flops would work here as well as the sun. Of course I can't figure out where to put the sun. But I like the texture that the puffy stickers give and it's just like a bunch of little icons and I don't actually use icon stickers like this very often just a bunch of them together but these all worked really well with the theme so I decided that I would just go for it I'm gonna use some of these puffy stickers or at least I thought I was but no I'm gonna use enamel dots instead I felt like the white blended in a little bit too much sun is just not making me happy. So I'm going to create three clusters of enamel dots on this page, three different color clusters. So the blue is going to go over here. I always like using th uh, three dots, two of one size and one of the smaller size. I think it just always kind of gives it an arrow effect that I like. And then I'm going to use yellow over in this corner. I like that pop of that bold blue. I didn't want to add any more blue to the page, but I felt like that bold blue anchored it pretty well. Didn't add too much of the same blue. Gonna go through these die cuts again. There is a fun girl in a flamingo floaty that I was going to maybe switch out, but I thought that I liked the way that this flamingo floaty were, looked instead. I didn't think that it looked great facing the wrong direction. And then I want to add this memories label and I decide to move everything down because um, the oh I didn't want the memories label to be at the same visual plane as the life captured on that um, frame so I'm just gonna put this up here and I'll move the labels down so that there's more room perfect we're getting close to done here just being super fussy about placement like I always am but this was a good challenge for me to just create a single 6x8 page I've been doing a lot of 12 by 12s lately and of course always with my double page life crafted layout so it was fun to just include a single page in this album of course this did not need a two page spread so it would have been overkill if I tried to make it two pages in a six by eight album so this was perfect but that is it for this video if you enjoyed it I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up if you're new here go ahead and subscribe I would love to have you if you don't already you can follow me over on Instagram I'm at Tracy M. Reed I'd love to see you over there as well just gonna add in my journaling and call it good so do you ever do a six by eight layouts what's your preferred size let me know in the comment section below all right thank you